Hi everyone, Rashmi here. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video about coding machine learning. So machine learning is basically a website where you can, you know, um, train your computer, give it examples and test it out too. So now I'm going to, you know, show you how to make a project. So let's get started. So uh, I'm already registered, so I'm going to do login. But if you want, you know, it's your first time here, you can sign up. Otherwise, if you don't want to sign up, you can try without registering. Means try it now. I'm going to log in. And it's loading. So next you get this page. If so you click on go to your project so well i already created this one and i'm gonna add a new project first of all let's explore this site so so about is like you know in six seconds train a machine make him scratch app adventure in 20 minutes so well what why it's like basically what machine learning is about why do we use it and this is where our project page is in our worksheet where we can actually do by ourselves without any help so well there are lots of worksheets here you can just simply download them and view them and ta -da, you're done already so now and then there are book, and there's the news app, and you can even log out. There's even language. So now let's get started. I'm going to start with this one. It is called Journey to School. Let's download it. Now, so we're downloading. The, now, you'll get two links. Download guidance for teachers or for students. So, you're going to choose download project worksheets for students. And it's loading. Loading. It's loading. And it loaded. So, now I'm going to open this. It will come over here. So you need to school. So in this project, you will train the computer to look for patterns and how your classmates get to school. You test this training by getting the computer to predict how different people travel to school. Here, car, and then there's a distance, walk, and then there's even cycle. So now one, for this project, you need to do a survey with your classmates. The more people you can ask, the better. Write two three questions you could ask your classmates that could affect how they travel to school. You need questions that they can answer with the number. For the rest of the worksheet, we'll use age and year, distance, miles from home to school, and number of siblings or school friends who live nearby. But you can choose your own values even, like make your own values. So now, so we need to log in project click on the new project button journey to school and learn it how to recognize numbers so let's do this you go to your project add new project and now you name your project name journey to school now we're going to recognize numbers. Create it now. So now we're going to click on it and let's see what's saying next. Now add a value and name it age and type the number. Okay. So we will add a value and name it age. So we'll add a value over here and name it age. Let's do this. Train. sounds okay wait just a minute mm, this is wrong actually i'm gonna delete it yes i'm gonna delete it and now i'm gonna add a new project um journey to school recognizing numbers and now we're gonna add a value which is page and 
age and number, age and the type of number. Now another value is supposed to be this tens and this type of value is a number and the other one is supposed to be friends. So just a minute guys, I'll get back to you in two minutes. Got to go somewhere urgently. Okay guys, I am back. Sorry for the delay. Well, my brother was calling me and telling me that his game was laggy. So I just said, like, go ask to mama. Why asking me? I'm in the middle of a recording. So let's get back to where we were. So now it's the this worksheet is saying is to add an other value for friend. So, and this is going to be friends type of value will be number. So now we're going to click on create. And this is done. So now we're going to train and we're going to, let's see, go down. And now so click on it. Journey to school. We're going to click on it. And so now we're going to add a new label and create a bucket called car, walk, and cycle. So, car, walk, walk, and cycle, and cycle. So let's see. So now we're going to add example and the first survey of someone who travels by car. Keep going until you enter all the surveys results. So we're going to either make six for each or eight for each. Whatever you like, guys. Add example. Okay. Age is going to be 10. Distance could be 2.5 and friends are 2. Now this one is going to be 8. Distance is 2.78 and they have one friend that lives nearby. This one is going to be 7, distance can be 2.43 I meant, and friend let's say, um, we can make them 1, and we will keep on going continue till you've done till 2 more or 3 more, so I'm just going to continue, 9, Nine and three friends that live nearby. Ten again. Two point um two point three. And well, friends, they have two friends that live nearby. Now just one more. Um, we're gonna make it five. Per the age is five. The distance can be two point one, and they have only one friend lives nearby. So now we have six friends that have a car for a walk. Now um, will be thirteen. Distance will be one. Let's just check it out again, you know, checking it out, and yeah, 0 0.700 0 and 0 0.22 and something like that. One, and let's see, friendship, could I have two friends that live nearby, walk with her, and this time the age could be 15. The distance is 0 0.9 and she has one friend that lives nearby. Now 12. 
distance is 0 0.3, which is very near, and friend, she doesn't have any friends that live nearby. How sad. Okay, now this time the age could be 14, and the distance could be 0 point, um, 0 0.6, and she has two friends that live nearby. Now, her, this time, the age could be 13 again, um, and the distance is 0 0.7, and she has two friends that live nearby. And 13, 13, 2, 2, 0 0.7, and 1, so it's basically the same. Now, one more, which is supposed to be um, 16, distance can be 0 0.5, and she has um, three friends that live nearby. Now we're going moving on to cycle. Now the age could be um, tw 12. And the distance is 2. And she has two friends that live nearby too. Now this one is 13, and the distance is 0 0.8, but she still prefers to go cycling. And friends, well, one friend to live nearby. Age is 14, the distance is 0 point, not 0 point actually, 2.1. See, you can go by car either, or you can go by cycle too. And she has two friends that live nearby her. Now let's see. Um, what else? You can make one that is sixteen, and the distance is the distance is well one point nine, and she has one friend that lives nearby. Now two more values. I'm gonna add one that is fifteen. The distance is gonna be zero point um six. And she has two friends that live nearby. Now one that's value. So we're gonna have well uh um one that is probably um fourteen. I really try to yeah. see I wrote it right here. How about when that is 11? 11, 0 0.5, 0 .5, and one friend that lives nearby. We're going to add it, and our, well, this is done. Now we're going to go back to project and learn and test. Learn and test to user example. It can only take a few seconds to train or a few minutes, depending on the internet connection. So now, well, we'll see. It's recognized as block with 67% confidence. Once training field has finished, a text box should appear. Use this to test your model. So we're going to go here and train new machine learning model. Let's see. Age is 5. The distance is 2.9, and she has two friends that live nearby. Now, once we're going to test it, car with 100% confidence. Now, how about age is 11? The distance is 0 0.1. He has 0 0.1, and she has... She friend that live nearby. We're gonna test it and a cycle. Yeah, you can go a cycle or uh, okay. Now let's try it with sixteen. Recognize a block. So it depends on the age we have. Now let's go back. It's done training, and now we're gonna click on make. Not have we done so far? And. So now, click on the Back to Project link and go in back into your train page. Choose one of the survey responses you entered earlier and delete it. 
make sure you write all the down uh, write down all the values for the examples you are deleting before you delete it. Delete va the values in a minute. How hover the mouse pointer over it till the red cross appear. Click on that to delete the example. So you have to delete one of them. Run back to project and go into the learning test page. Mm, the bottom is at the bottom of the page. Once the new model is straight into the values that you deleted into the test ball. You know what the right answer is for this? It's the bucket that you deleted for the example. Compare the computer's prediction with the right answer. Did the computer get it right? So, well, we have to do this. So, let's go back to project, click on train, and I'm going to choose one from walk. So, I'm just going to go get a paper and a pencil. Okay, I got it. So, I'm going to do this one. So the age is 15, the distance is 0 0.9, and she has one friend. So we're all gonna delete this. Now we're gonna go back to project, learn and test. Train new machine learning model. And it's okay, trained. So the age is 15, 0 0.9, and she has one, she has one friend. Let's test it out. Okay, there's an unknown error. Test, again. I'm going to train the machine learning model. I guess it didn't get trained. Let's check out this card now. Oh, I see. Right. Anyways. Six, five examples of walk and six examples of cycle. So I'm going to try it again. 15, 0 0.9, and she has one friend. Let's look nearby. Recognize that cycle with a hundred percent confidence. Okay, so now I'm gonna try it with four. Recognize as walk. Okay, so yes, it got it nearly correct because well it came from the bucket walk but if the computer predicted that was cycle and when I change it to a letter value like um, 0 0.4 or 0 0.2 it will predict that it's walk because it's a near distance so now let's go on make mm -hmm. let's see now now we're gonna you know try a bigger test more examples Example survey results. Take a look at these guys. I'm not able to run the survey. No problem. Here are the results from a small survey that we ran. Wow. So, friend and sibling nearby. Three, two, one. Nice. So now, now that we're done, why not we give one of these addresses? So, can you try and write it through? Use the computer's ability to predict how people travel to school in a game. Try bigger test. So, guys, this is all about today. Thank you so much for watching my video. And make sure to go to this website and try out amazing projects. They're so cool. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys. See you next time.